Three months after Martin Youngblood's pickup got fished out of the long broad below the Beaver Dam Bridge, Tom Roberts sat alone in the dining room at Hillhaven Inn, dawdling over his morning coffee and his unmolested breakfast. While he waited for his appetite to wake, he shuffled through his mail. There wasn't much. Only one major surprise lurked among the bills and appeals for donations, a manila envelope addressed to him in a handwriting that looked vaguely familiar, though he couldn't place it. He pushed back his plate of cold scrambled eggs and peppers, tore off the end of the envelope and dumped the contents onto the table. Folded inside several sheets of letter paper, he found a house key, oversized, obviously made to fit an old-style lock. There was no note. Tom studied the envelope a while, tantalized by the handwriting. He felt sure that sometime, somewhere, he had seen this script before. He gathered his mail and stuffed it into his jacket pocket, except for the envelope and the key. The longer he looked at it, the more certain he became that he knew who had sent it. He wondered what Lillian would say when he showed her.